Welcome to how to create a photorealistic wax seal effect in Adobe Photoshop. Learn how to create this wax seal design from scratch that you can use in your own projects and designs. Hi, I'm Jonathan Lamb, a digital artist with over 10 years of experience and in this video we'll take you through step by step on how to create this custom illustration using Photoshop settings. So before we begin, make sure to check out Envato Elements. Here you can get unlimited downloads of video templates, stock video, audio tracks and effects. That's millions of creative assets all ready to use with simple commercial licensing. Plus, no lock-in contract means that you can cancel at any time. Subscribe now with the link in the description. So let's start by going over what assets we need to complete the tutorial. You'll find links to all the assets you need to follow along in the description below. First, we need a wax seal image. Then we need a paper texture. And finally, the Rubik font. Also, remember to subscribe to the channel for more free courses and tutorials. Once you have all of that, let's get started in Adobe Photoshop. So over in Photoshop here, we're just going to go ahead and start preparing our assets. So we've opened up the wax seal image here and we're going to go to the layers panel, double click on the background layer and let's rename this wax seal like so. Go to the magic wand tool and make sure that contiguous is selected and the tolerance is at around 30. And we're just going to go ahead and click on the white space here and then press Control X on the keyboard to cut away the background. Now let's go to image, canvas size, change the values here from percent to pixels. And we're going to change the width to 2000 and the height to 1400. Click OK. And now what we're going to do is we're going to drag our white paper texture into our project here, like so. And let's go ahead and adjust the size of this texture so that it fits our canvas properly. And then once you're happy with that, go ahead and accept and commit the transform or click enter on the keyboard. And let's go ahead and drag this white paper texture below our wax seal and then double click on it and let's go ahead and change the name to paper and then let's go ahead and right click on this and we're going to rasterize the layer. Now let's go ahead and choose the lasso tool and we're going to add an envelope flap so let's create the shape for this like so. And then with the paper layer selected, go ahead and press Control C on the keyboard and then press Control Shift and V to paste it into place like so. And now you'll see we've created a new layer. Double click on this layer and let's go ahead and name this flap like that. Now you won't be able to see it because we've still got the paper layer underneath and we haven't got any effects added to the flap. So let's go ahead and add some effects to it. So go ahead and right click on the flap layer, go to blending options, select inner shadow. We want the blend mode set to normal and the color set to white. Set the opacity to about 52% and the angle at minus 90 degrees. Set the distance to one pixels, the choke to 100% and we want to set the size to something like three pixels. So you can just about see the white line on our envelope here, like so. Next, let's go ahead and choose drop shadow. And for this, we're going to choose the blend mode multiply. And we're going to choose a color of pure black. The opacity sets to 30%. The angle sets to 101 degrees the distance at 16%, the spread at 20, and let's choose a size of about 29%. So we can just about 
see the shadow of our envelope flap here, like so. Once you're happy with that, go ahead and click OK. And now we're going to add some effects to the wax seal image here. So select our wax seal layer, right click on that, go to blending options. And the first layer style we're going to choose is inner shadow. Select the blend mode to normal. And let's go ahead and select a black color for this opacity of 100%, an angle of minus 90 degrees, a distance of four pixels, and a choke and size of zero. Now let's go to drop shadow, and we're going to choose a blend mode of multiply. Again, the color will be black, opacity of 30%, an angle of 101 degrees, a distance of 16 pixels, spread 20%, and a size of 29 pixels. Now let's go ahead and click on the plus button next to drop shadow here to add a, another drop shadow option. And with this effect, let's go ahead and set the blend mode here to normal. The color is set to black, an opacity set to 10%, an angle of 86 degrees, a distance of 27 pixels, a spread of 6%, and a size of 101 pixels, just to add this subtle shadow effect on our wax seal here. Once you're happy with that, go ahead and click the OK button. Now let's go ahead and create the stamp design. So to do this, create a new document here with a width of 600 and a height of 600, a resolution of 72. And let's choose a background color of white click on create and from here let's go ahead and choose the ellipse tool here and we want to create a perfect circle now to do this go to the top left hand corner of the canvas press and hold the shift key on the keyboard and then click and drag from one corner to the other corner try and fill the as much of the canvas space as possible and then release the mouse button to create it. Excellent. Now you can see that I've created a white ellipse here. Let's go ahead and change the fill color to black so that we can see it more clearly. Now with the ellipse layer selected here, let's go to the properties panel here and we want to go to the transform section here. Make sure that the width is set to 600 pixels and the height is set to 600 pixels. We want the X and Y set to zero pixels, like so, just so that we can make sure that our circle is set to the exact measurements of our canvas. Then let's go to the appearance section here, set the fill here to transparent, set the stroke to black, and then set the stroke size here to 15 pixels. Let's also change the stroke so that it's inside our shape, like that. Now with the ellipse layer still selected, let's go to layer, new, and then choose shape layer via copy. And then let's go ahead and rename this layer by double clicking on it and change it to path. Now in the transform options in the properties panel here, let's go ahead and change the width and height to 516 pixels. And then the X and Y axis to 42 pixels, like so. Cool. And then you'll see that we've got a smaller circle inside our big circle and we want to change the stroke here to transparent. Next let's go ahead and go to our type tool and we want to choose the Rubik font that we downloaded and let's choose Rubik bold. Now for this project we've set the size of the text to 62 and the tracking to 500. And all we need to do here is hover our cursor over the path 
until the pointer changes into a wavy line through the I-beam like so. Click on the border of the path and you can see that we can add our text to it. So let's go ahead and type in wax seal stamp mockup like so. Now from there, let's go ahead and choose the path selection tool. Hover over our text here, click on it, and then drag down so that it flips the text inside our circle like so. Next, we're going to choose the type tool again, and then we're gonna click on any one of these white corners here to create a new type layer. We're going to type in W, make sure that it's a small letter and not a capital letter, otherwise the design won't work. Now with the W layer selected, go to the properties panel and we're going to change the character from bold to regular and the size of 383 pixels. And we're going to change the X axis to 136 pixels and then the Y axis to 68 to move the letter to the center of our composition. Now let's go ahead and select all four of these layers, right click and then convert these to a smart object like so. Now with the move tool selected, let's go ahead and click and drag our smart object into our previous document by clicking and holding it over the tab like so. Now make sure that the design layer is above the wax seal layer here. And with our design layer selected, let's go ahead and press control T on the keyboard. And then let's go ahead and change the angle to 33%. And we're going to change the size of our design so that it fits the seal underneath. So to do this, press and hold the shift key on the keyboard and then we can change the size of each of these sides individually, like so, so that it fits inside the seal. Next, we can also go ahead and right click on the design and then we can choose the skew option here to make it so that the design fits the seal a little bit more accurately, like so. Excellent. And then once you're happy with the way that your design looks, you can go ahead and hit the enter key on the keyboard. Let's go ahead and rename our design layer here. And let's go ahead and call it smart object effect 01. And we're going to change the fill to 0%. Then from here, let's go to layer, new, and select layer via copy to duplicate this layer. And let's rename this 02. Next, let's go ahead and right click smart object effect 01, select blending options select bevel and emboss. And the style here is going to be set to inner bevel, technique smooth, depth 100%, direction up, size two pixels, soften six pixels. And then the shading is an angle of 80 degrees, use global light with an altitude of 30 degrees here. And then the highlight mode is set to color burn with the color set to 440303. And then the opacity is 20%. The shadow mode is set to linear burn with a color of 7B0000. And then the opacity for that one is set to 85%. Then we're going to select drop shadow here, select the blend mode at linear burn. And then the color for this is set to 5E2831 an opacity of 25%, an angle of 80 degrees, a distance of five pixels, a spread of 0% and a size of five pixels. Next, go to filter, distort, 
ripple and we want to choose an amount of minus 40% and a size of medium. Click OK and this will just sort of add a little bit of a ripple effect to our design here. And then from here, let's go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and we want to set the radius here to 0.6 pixels, like so. Now let's go ahead and select Smart Object Effect 02, right click that and go to Blending Options. And this time we're going to select Bevel and Emboss with a Style Inner Bevel Technique Smooth, a depth of 50%, direction up, a size of 10 pixels and soften 2 pixels. For the shading, we want the angle at 90 degrees. We want to uncheck global light and an altitude of 76 degrees. For the gloss contour, we want to choose the cone inverted and check anti-aliased. And if we want, we can also click on this and then just move the center of the cone up slightly like so and then click OK. Now for the highlight mode, we want to choose a linear dodge, make sure that the color is set to white and the opacity is set to 17%. The shadow mode is set to multiply with the color set to pure black and an opacity of 0%. Next, let's go to drop shadow. And for this one, we want to set the blend mode to linear burn and the color we want to set to 602532. Set the opacity to 40%, an angle of 120 degrees, uncheck global light. Set the distance to three pixels, spread 10%, size six pixels, and noise of 5%. Click OK to apply that. And then from here, we want to go to filter, Distort, Ripple, and this time we want to set the amount to minus 20%, a size of medium, click OK. And then we want to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and set the radius to 0.8 pixels. Click OK to apply that. And there you have it how to create a photorealistic wax seal mock-up with Adobe Photoshop. If you liked this video and would like to see more, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified of any new and inspiring videos. Check out the Envato Touch Plus channel to learn more Photoshop, Illustrator, After Effects, and much more. Have fun, and I'll see you next time on Tuts Plus.